Hello, and welcome back to another in-depth weather video. If you like this video, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell so you never miss another in-depth weather video. Today, we're talking about Tropical Depression 7, as well as the other disturbance in the Atlantic. Tropical Depression 7 is expected to become a tropical storm, and the other disturbance in the Atlantic has a medium chance of formation in five days. So, if these storms get named, we have Gonzalo and Hannah. So, most likely we're going to have just Gonzalo on our hands, and a possible Hannah. So, let's take a look at the, the cone for Tropical Depression 7. We're, we're thinking that this is going to become a tropical storm, and then hit the islands in the Caribbean. Uh, just north of Trinidad and Tobago, and then through through the ABC Islands, and then into the Caribbean Sea. So, and of course this can change, so I'm not naming specific islands. So we're going to be tracking this, we're going to be tracking this for a few days, and this could pose some issues for areas in the Caribbean Sea. So, let's actually look at the arrival time of winds with the 5-day wind speed probabilities on. So, right now we have a decent chance of seeing some tropical storm force winds. Highest chance of seeing tropical storm force winds is from Wednesday at 8 a.m. 8 p.m. to Friday 8 a.m. with that 30 to 40 percent chance. You have a 20 to 30 percent chance in any of this lime green area. Then you have this evergreen color, or this Kelly green color. That is 10 to 20% chance. And then you have the 5 to 10, which is this darker green color. So the islands, the island chain here in the Caribbean, should be expecting the earliest time frame to get these winds between Friday 8 p.m. and Saturday 8 p.m. The ABC islands after that. So the ABC islands are the... Uh, the Netherlands owned islands off of Venezuela the, the most known one is Aruba so let's move on here to the other the other disturbance here just quickly this one will be most impactful so right now it is in the Gulf of Mexico if it forms it would possibly make landfall in Louisiana and Texas area so if you live in the Western Gulf be on the lookout for this I will make a separate video if this does form now let's move on to the GFS model here is TD7 as you can see the GFS has been kind of a little off with this storm so it is showing it really not forming much and then kind of disintegrating. It's also showing our other disturbance not to form either. So we're kind of, we've kind of been going off of the National Weather Service and the National Weather Service usually has been right. So the, the hurricane hunters that the National Weather Service has, they do a great job and they kind of beat out the models here. The models are not showing much in terms of tropical activity in the Atlantic even if we look at the tropical Atlantic here, we have TD7 here, and we look at the lower dynamics, we're looking for something within this like dark blue color. So it's really not showing, it's showing a little bit, but it's really not showing much until right at the island chain here. The I think this is the Lesser Antilles, correct me if I'm wrong. But it's really not showing much, so we do have to kind of go a little blind on this, but we are expecting Tropical Storm Gonzalo to form here in the next few hours. So currently, TD7 has 35 mile an hour winds, so we need 39 mile an hour winds to be classified as a Tropical Storm, so very close there. Minimum central pressure of 1,009 millibars and moving west-northwest at 8 miles an hour. 
So this is a very monumental system because this is our first West African storm. So this storm was a wave off the West African coast and it is now TD7. So these storms usually mark the more mature stages of the hurricane season because these storms really like uh, such as Irma. Irma was a Irma and Florence were big West African disturbance line storms. They form off the coast of West Africa. They have a lot of open water to really strengthen and then they eventually hit areas in the west as well. So areas of the east coast of the US, Caribbean, they could even they usually hit the island chains and the ABC Islands areas like that possibly some areas in northern South America and into the Caribbean as well so they these storms really show that hopefully we can get a hurricane on the charts here we've had a lot of tropical storms we've had a lot of tropical storm activity but none of them have really strengthened so hopefully with the West African disturbance line we can start to see that strengthening because there definitely there's definitely a lot of energy in this area so that is all I have for TD7 if the other disturbance gets named I will do a separate video on that if you want to get information on the other disturbances tropical storm Douglas please check out my video on TD7E and Hurricane Douglas. That's all I have for today. I will keep you all updated and have a great day.